Whoa, you can tell this is a hotel in Chinatown. Never seen a door knocker like that before. Whoa, this place is awesome. Get my own like historical vase. Whew, look at this. Beautiful. Nice desk. This is a suite. Huh, look at this. This is like my own antique museum here. Wow. Let's check out the view. I mean, it's flushing, so you're not gonna see much, but still nice. Beautiful bed, look. This is the most orientally decorated, gorgeous room I've ever had at a hotel. Bathroom. <laughs> look at a little toilet stand, that's nice. All right, bathroom's pretty small, but everything else is really, really nice. Today I'm moving my hotel room to Flushing, New York. I always wanted to stay at the Flushing uh, Sheraton, which is right above Presto Cafe, my favorite cafe, right near all the great food. So I'm at this hotel now, and the front desk person, first of all, I wanna say, most courteous, nicest receptionist I've ever encountered in all my years of travel. Nicest to the extent where I start feeling bad because he was so nice. They were able to upgrade me to a suite, which is awesome. Love it. When they give me upgrades. Oh, so, ooh, sun chips. I, mean, I love sun chips, actually. Little bags of sun chips. It'll be breakfast here in the morning, but of course I'm in flush. I'm not gonna eat breakfast here. There's usually drinks. Where? Oh, here we go. I don't know if you guys can see Manhattan all the way over there. Whoa, somebody put a little kid's gym on top of a roof. I'm gonna allow myself one really nice meal while I'm in New York. The Frisco Steakhouse, my favorite steakhouse basically ever. Best steaks I've ever had in my life, always consistently good. Hey, Cheryl and Ben's here. What's up guys? She has a YouTube channel so you guys can check her out if you wanna put it in my description box. He's got nothing. Yeah? What's wrong with Pokemon Go? You're not playing? This thing is awesome. It's got two levels. I guess we got the upper level today. Thank you so much. Look how beautiful. It's a gorgeous view. This is awesome. I'm being good. This is uh, this little fresh loaf of bread they have here. It's always piping hot when it comes out. Are you vlogging? Yeah. Vlog battle. Why are you so tired? I don't know, man. It's like that time of day, like after work. Wait, like, what did what did you you, well, you only ate a banana today? I had a banana. You're ready for the steak. What did you eat today? I had fruit and almost. Well, you're vegan now. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. you're the I'm, only I'm vegan, vegan that's in the steakhouse steak right now. I'm vegan. Know, that's crazy. Vegan. You're gonna get side dishes? Yeah. Why can't you get a salad? Side salad. You don't like salads here? This is my appetizer: king crab, jumbo shrimp, and whoa. Look at the size of the stone crab plop. And another loaf of bread. We're gonna get like 10 of those. 10 of those, right? Yeah. I prepare for this meal by not eating all day. Nothing. I'm ready to eat every single cow in the steakhouse. Look how big the shrimp is. Steaks are here. Ben got a flaming young, which is minuscule compared to mine. Look at this. Let me see. Yeah, looks good. How was that for you, folks? Looks good. That is my Flintstone cut of steak right there. Oh, nice and juicy in the center. Can I gnaw on the bone without people looking? It looks like a caveman. He's gonna go beat someone. Seriously, I'm gonna gnaw on this. Our awesome waiter, Chris, just brought us lemon cake, which here's some perspective. This is my hand. The lemon cake. Like that's Ben's hand is big. My hand, like, is a big, big cake. It is delicious. If you guys ever come here, get the lemon cake. It's what? It's, it's fluffy. fluffy. It's not thick. It may look thick, but it's fluffy, light as air. Taking a walk after steak, St. Patrick's Cathedral. Always beautiful at night. And uh, I'm starting to see a lot of thunder and lightning. This is the famous Dirty Rock. If you guys ever watched the show Dirty Rock, this is the guy in the intro graphics. 
and the Cirrus 30 Rockefeller Center, home of NBC. Look at all those clouds. This is very Ghostbuster-ish. That's the Plaza Hotel, and you can see the lining is definitely getting closer. All right, I feel raindrops. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Ah, uh, there's an Apple store. Sounds good. That lining was insane. This is the Apple store by, uh, by Central Park. It's pretty cool. It's definitely gonna pour soon. I don't know if you guys can see the ceiling of this glass roof. It's just being pelted by rain right now. I mean, I came in here just in the nick of time. Well, that was the shortest thunderstorm in history. Uh, I was in Apple Store for maybe about five minutes. Storm is over. This is the indisputed best Pokemon spot in the city. Central Park, right by the plaza. But how many people are here on a Wednesday night? I take you guys live into an exciting Pokemon haunt. There's like a stampede now because there's some Aerodactyl thing and everyone's running across the street. Like, <laughs> risking getting killed by cars to catch this, whatever the heck this is. But uh, yeah, I'll do it, whatever. Back here in Flushing and look at this lightning. Holy cow. And what's strange about this is, I think that the thunderstorm is moving in because the moon is still out. You can still see stars in the sky. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's still stars in the sky. That means clouds aren't here in this part of the sky yet. It's all conjugated over in that direction. So either the storm is moving in or it's moving out. And I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I love thunderstorms. So I'm hoping it's coming.